Yo, what's up guys? We've got Blue Eyes Burning Abyss deck here and before I start, just gonna shout out Pro Play Games on YouTube, uh, check them out and stuff because good team in that. Uh, they had a Blue Eyes Burning Abyss deck up and I just wanted to like reiterate this because I've been testing it a bit myself and oh man, it's uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty damn good and it's really fun as well. Uh, but I changed up and fixed it for the new format and um, so... I mean, yeah, that's uh, it's 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 good, man. You can mill burning abyss cards. You can mill stones, blue eyes. Add them back and shit. You can mill gospel, which is kind of decent in the graveyard. Yeah, it's it's, it's really really good. It's got the deck is very has a lot of synergy. Uh, it lost Beatrice's, which is kind of annoying in the second tier. But I mean, it's it still very one Beatrice. Yeah, one Beatrice. But... Did two. Uh, I think the build thing he sent me was playing three. Like, I don't know, depending on grind and stuff, like, it can come up to need, like, multiples. But overall, yeah, it's really, really good deck. It's it's pretty consistent, honestly. And it's got, let's see, so three regular blue eyes, three alternative, one spirit, uh, Barbar, -bar Seer, Calcab, Libich as your one of, uh, burning the best names, uh, the Speedroid Engine, Alec, three Farfa, Graf, Skarm, Tour Guide. Uh, I did that in a really weird order, by the way, sorry about that. Uh, three Ancient Stone and three White Stone. White Stone of Ancients and White Stone of Legends. Yeah, okay. One for one, three Gospel, three Trade In, three Melody, Foolish, and Silver's Cry. You can probably play around with the ratios here a little bit. Some people only really like two Melody. Uh, you can maybe include Upstart in here somewhere. I personally don't like playing Upstart in Mill decks, but obviously a lot of people very vehemently disagree with that. So you can see for yourself. Um, uh, did I say Foolish Bro? Yeah, and the Silver's Cry. Yes, yeah, just one of like tech there. I don't know. You can maybe fit something else in here, perhaps like potentially soul charge, maybe like like a warning or something, perhaps. I don't know. Kind of like your choice to play around there. Um, extra deck is just a pimp, a Jurai's twin. Uh, sorry, spirit. Uh, is it normal for blue eyes decks to only run one? Because even pure blue eyes decks, I see them run one. No, uh, pure plays two. It plays okay. two spirit and like normally two is root. Yeah. For, like pure bullets. Well, one each here and one moonlight, and then you have a bunch of rank eights. So you've got dark matter, uh, full armor, uh, thirty-eight, uh, tachyon, Beatrice, break sword, grand pulse, levier, two dantes, and an F zero. Um, levier is kind of cool here because you can do cool interactions with a summoning alternative and then like bringing back a banished ancient stone and stuff. So that's why you play levier. Um, if you want, you can probably free up some space, like taking out the Dark Matter engine, perhaps, and putting in the... what's it, what's that thing called? The, the rank 8 engine that everyone plays, like Seven Sins and stuff, and like Giant Grinder or something, right? Or Spider? What is it that people run? Yeah, Giant Grinder into the Spider and Seven Sins. Yeah, yeah, so you can play something like that uh, instead, if you'd rather not run the Dark Matter. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of ways to, like, play around with it and stuff. I didn't include the side deck because, I mean, it's obviously very subjective. And decks like this, like BA Monarch and stuff like that as well, like, very, very, very tight engines and it's really hard to side. Like, if I was to play this deck, I don't know what I'd even side, like, if I had to put in, like, Twin Twisters. Twin Twisters would probably stay pulled in the side deck. But everything else, like, I do not know what else you would put in here. Like, what you would take out, honestly, like... Yeah, I I cannot see like what you what's the, the it's a very delicate engine for siding of course but yeah so I just wanted to uh, bring this uh, video to light and because this deck is honestly so fun and I think it's a legit contender of being a really good deck this format next format this format next format so yeah thanks for watching and see you next time.